Hello, this is Jay Reeves, Simulation and Lab Coordinator. Welcome to Powering Up Lairdall SimPad. In order to have as trouble-free of an experience as you can with Lairdall SimPad and with all Lairdall simulators, there's a particular order in which you need to power up the components. This short video will explain that. So let's jump right in. The first component to be turned on in a SimPad system is the simulator. Now, in this case, that is the link box that's attached to a man mannequin. Now, here is the end of the link box, opposite from what is at the top in the picture at the left. And in order to turn on link box, we need to press the on-off button at which time the power LED will begin to flash. Now, the LED will flash longer than we see here. I'm compressing time a little bit. But eventually it will go steady and the Wi-Fi LED will begin to flash. It will then go steady and you'll hear the mannequin cough. Next, we should turn on the instructor computer, which in the case of a SimPad system, is the SimPad itself. In order to do this, we press the button in the upper right hand corner as we look at the SimPad. The small green LED at the top of the screen begins to flash. Startup screen comes up. And the startup jingle plays. At this point, if your Lairdall SimPad and LinkBox had been previously linked to one another, it will automatically link, the SimPad will automatically link to the LinkBox, and the Wi-Fi LED will turn blue. At that time, the mannequin is ready to use being controlled through the SimPad. If the SimPad had not been linked with the LinkBox that you're using previously, then you'll need to link the SimPad and LinkBox. That'll be the subject of another video. After the SimPad is powered on, next you would turn on the Lairdall Patient Monitor. The way to remember the sequence that you should use in powering up a SimPad system or any Lairdall simulator is SIM or SIM. First, the simulator on-off button, in the case of a SIM pad being the link box. Next, the instructor computer, or you might say instructor controller, in this case the SIM pad, and then the patient monitor. It's important to allow each component to power up completely before proceeding to the next step. 